Hi guys, welcome to BHC Audits. It's my very first audit, so please excuse the rookie mistakes I made. Uh, first time using the GoPro, so the start of the video is <laughs> high speed. Sorry about that. All you missed was me going into the reception and telling the, the receptionist that I was going to be filming in the, in the car park. She said, oh, I don't think you can do that. I said, no, well, I'm not asking permission, it's just a courtesy to let you know. And then when she went away, she went and got the she got all the five officers to come down and see me at the gate. So we've got that to look forward to. Okay, if you enjoy, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Got a police officer over there. I don't know if they're interested in me, but they seem to be hanging about. Officers coming. Oh my goodness, there's quite a few. One, two, three, four, five all together out here. No doubt I'm going to get some contact. Just another point here about my rookie mistakes. I forgot to ask for their names and shoulder numbers. So before I get blackballed for the auditing community for I mean, fuck ups. Just remember it was my first audit. Okay. <laughs> and I thought it went not too bad. Anyway, enjoy. Alright. How you doing? Just doing a blog for YouTube. You're doing a blog for YouTube? Alright. Alright. What? On, what's the blog around the garden? Don't film one. But at the moment, the police station. Right, so why, why in particular the police station and why in particular the main drag up to where? Well, that's where the cars come out, so I'm hoping to see some. What cars are you looking for, like? Police cars. Right, the police cars don't come out to this access. Yes. What one do they come out of? They come out to that access over there, eh? Oh, well, that's fine, I'll still see them. Right, what's your name? I'll do what you give it. Well, no, that's not really, it's not really an option for you, mate. No, it is, because I haven't broken any laws. Well... You're involved in an incident, though, so eh? you can require your details. Aye, but you have, to have a, you have to have a crime, or a reasonable suspicion of a crime, before you can ID somebody. No, we can't. Same no, you can't. Eh? The Criminal Procedure Scotland Act, 1995. No. That's fine. That's an unlawful. What's an unlawful? That's unlawful. What you're trying to do? Try to get my my details. Exactly. Because I've not committed a crime. Well, I suspect you have. Oh, do you? Well, what's your yeah. reasonable suspicion? Because you're standing there filming it, you're looking for a person. It would appear that you're looking to ascertain video footage. No, but I've already been out to the police station of and police said I was doing of, it. Of police officers' personal vehicles as a leave come and go and go from there. Is that a crime? Station. Well, yeah, because it's no, a it's not. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. If, if 
if they're in public, I can film them. But they're not in public. And they will be when I film them. But this is, this is still private property, yeah. How can it be private? It's how police it, property. It this it's is not. police property. Of course it is. Right, so but how can the police own? How can they buy? Of course it is. So you come into the police station, you think they. Aye, it's public. It's public. Property. It's public. Is it? Alright. The lobby is, anyway. Please, you've not your details? No. So you're refusing to give me your details? Yes, because I haven't committed a crime. Right. Do you have any current cases at the moment? No. No. Where are you from? I'm from the Fairman. You're from the Fairman? Yes. Right, so what's your name then? I'm not going to tell you. Right. Well, why not? If you, if you, if you don't believe you're committing any crime, because, and you're here because for, it's for, well for known that if, if people film the police and then they get their name, there's retaliate, retaliation, stopping you in your okay. car, such Trust as me. that. If eh? I do a check on you and you're not the person that currently has active bail conditions for this type of behaviour uh -huh. in Aberdeen. In Aberdeen? Then, in, then we can I'm establish. I've been in Aberdeen for about 20 years. Then we can establish that there's no crimes and you're here with legitimate purposes. We need to have a reasonable suspicion. Right. And I've already said to you. What's your reasonable suspicion? That there's a male also engaging in this type of conduct uh -huh. who currently has active bail conditions for uh -huh. a very similar. Very similar. Does he look like me? Is he a good looking know. guy or not? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you your details so I can no. confirm that. No, you haven't got reasonable suspicion. Yeah, I do. You don't? I do. You don't? You're going to, you're going to set yourself up for a lawsuit, right? Well, that's fine. <coughs> because somebody in Aberdeen has filmed a police station, you're, yeah. saying, that, you're no. saying that that could be me. That could be you. Yeah. Right. I could, don't know It yeah. could well be, but a reasonable person wouldn't suspect that. No. Well, I'd say it is a reasonable person, eh? I don't think you're a reasonable person. Well, that's your opinion, eh? Oh, yeah. Well, it's been proved. Well, yeah. that's fine, eh? You give me your details, yes or no? No, definitely not. Right. Lawsuit. Section 13 Act. Perfect. What, what, what Act? Section 13 of the Criminal Procedure Scotland Act 1995. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We can require the details of any person involved in any crime, incident. This isn't a crime. Yeah. This incident. isn't a crime. That's what's covering it now. Incident is potentially it's a, not crime. a crime. It's not a crime. It's not even potentially no, a crime. It's covered by being an it's incident. It's not. Public photography is not a crime. Public photography is not a crime. Exactly. But if I'm going to be I just honest, said that. Yeah. There is an issue with the fact that we are police officers. Yeah, I see that. Heightened, There's quite a few of you as well for one man with a bloody camera. Yeah, heightened threat risk. There's no heightened threat risk. When, is, when did that happen? Like, when's a heightened threat risk? It's been a heightened threat risk since 2001. And has anyone harmed? Well, yeah. No. In a police station? There's been multiple no. incidents. Because they're slaving shit. Well, we'll see. Because they're just that you're abusing your powers to try and, to try and get my ID and it's not going to happen. The colour of law. Okay, in terms of section 13 of Criminal Procedure Scotland Act 1995, I suspect you have committed or having committed an offence. What's you your reasonable suspicion? Well, I've already explained to you. You haven't? You've that said is. some bugger in Aberdeen yeah, storming yeah. in a police station. That is also travelling around various other police stations in Scotland doing likewise, engaging in likewise activities. Have you got a, which have I have you got a picture of him? Which I have explained to have you. Have you got a picture of him? So that is my grounds for asking you for no, your details. That's you know? not grounds for asking me. Yes, it and is. I've also Somebody in Aberdeen has done the same thing, so you, you suspect that it was me. Mate, I'm not going to argue with you. Ah, you are? I'm going to argue with you I'm because you're breaking you the law. Right. This is un unlawful what you're doing here. I require you to give me your name, address, date of birth, place of birth and nationality. You're not obliged to say anything further by way of explanation, but anything you do say will be recorded and may be given an evidence. I also require you to remain with me while I verify your name, address, So I'm being birth. detained? Listen to me. No, I'm asking you. Am I being detained? Well, I'll, finish, I'll finish reading the legislation to you, then I'll answer any questions you have. Right. Police of the nationality and no any explanation given by you, failure without reasonable excuse, either to get on that 2016. Uh -huh. Do you understand that? Yeah, I don't understand how it pertains to me. Right, so are you, are you willing to provide me with your name, your details? No. Right, okay. In that case, I'll inform you, you're never under arrest under terms of that, that same legislation. Right. You're setting okay. yourself up for a lawsuit. Well, that's fine. Perfect. Because somebody in Aberdeen yeah, has right. done the same thing. I'll explain that to you. What about, okay. what about somebody in fucking Spain yeah. doing the same thing? We're taking your camera off you. That'll be seized as a production as evidence. No, no. Well, as you can you see, I got arrested for doing nothing more than uh, filming in public. It's really ridiculous. What they actually charged me with, it was nothing to do with all the breach of, breach of bail guy that they were talking about for Aberdeen. That never happened. Not, that, he was never mentioned again. So what they actually charged me with was filming off-duty police officers and their vehicles in an abusive and threatening manner. Now any, any reasonable person that watched that video could see that I wasn't being abusive or threatening, so they've trumped up charges to arrest an innocent man, basically. So I'll, uh, I'll let you read the letter that I sent to the sheriff 
after my appearance in court. So uh, read that and see what you think. So it seems that the sheriff, having read my letter, decided to dismiss the case. And then, when I got a letter from my lawyer, it also had a warning in it from Police Scotland that I shouldn't film police stations again or they would use other offences to, uh, to get me, basically, to fit me up. So they're trying to criminalise a legal activity, which is, is just wrong, basically. So here's the letter that uh, I got from my lawyer. Right, so I, I don't see that as a warning, I see that as a challenge. So I will be doing it again, and uh, they can use whatever trumped up charges they want, because I will be suing them on this. Uh, I did nothing wrong. Oh, forgot to mention, when they took me to the back of the station, they put me in a, a, a police van that had been sitting in the sun all day. Uh, this was the 28th of July, so it was still, still quite hot, and the van had been sitting in the sun all day, so the best way to describe it is sauna-like, and with your clothes on, so, you know, there was no reason to put me in there, there was only one other, other person in the jail, you can tell that by the pairs of shoes that are outside the cells, there was only one pair of shoes outside the cells, so they could have brought me right in, they didn't have to sit me in a, a, a blistering hot uh, police van for half an hour. So, yeah, I am going to be I'm pursuing uh, civil litigation against them uh, for a wrongful arrest, wrongful imprisonment, and hotboxing me. Yeah, and, oh, oh, yeah, and deprivation of property. They had my camera for six months. I got it back on December the 23rd. So, yeah, all those things. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will update you when I have any news on the, the progress of the civil, civil lawsuit. Uh, that's me out for now. Thanks. Bye.